Hi everyone, welcome. Uh, episode 6A, uh, Required and Suggested Equipment. Uh, the one item I didn't bring up before, and I should have, uh, it's a small item. Uh, it runs about $17. Um, you can get them at Amazon, Walmart, uh, most any uh, automotive place you go to. And it's a 12-volt uh, DC air compressor. Okay, it's just a little guy, uh, as you can see in the picture. Um, they run about 17 to 20 bucks, but they'll blow up a, a, a tire to uh, seven, 70 pounds for a big rig, and that's enough to get him off the to, to a place to fix the tire. It'll easily blow up your tires if you have a flat. Um, you're, it, it is required equipment. You're supposed to have it on hand. I've got it in my rig. I don't think it's even been out of the box. And I've had it four or five years. So it's not something that you use a lot. I uh, My old one, and well, in my off-road rig, I, I got a, a regular air compressor in it. Because running off-road, we blow tires out so fast out there. But uh, uh, on my highway rig and my short haul, uh, it's it it's got your meter on the front to show what your pressure is in it so you know you don't over inflate your tires um, but that's a that's a required piece of equipment uh, you 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 are supposed to have that one they're they're very cheap uh, like I said uh, Amazon right now seventeen dollars um, and it's not free shipping because they've got a twenty five dollar minimum uh, but if you while you're there you buy something else then it, you'll get the free shipping with it. Uh, suggested equipment. My number one suggested equipment, and here's a picture of it, is a front and rear dash camera. Okay? Uh, it sticks on your windshield up front with a screen, and then it's got a little mini camera that uh, you put on your uh, rear window, and it'll save it in two files, A and B. And uh, with a 32 gig or a 64 gig uh, flash drive in it, a little mi micro, um, it will save uh, right at 12 hours of driving. Once it's full, it just starts to recycle. Okay? There's buttons on it that if something happens, you can hit a button on it. And it will save the last five minutes and the next two minutes, I think it is, uh, in a separate file that cannot be overwrote or deleted until you take them off the, until you look at them on your computer and then you can delete them. Uh, in case there's a wreck, uh, something happens in front of you, something that happens to the load. Uh, whatever it might be uh, somebody walks out in front of you I've gotten many wrecks on on this thing that has happened in front of me but uh, a dash cam they run about the one I like is $67 on Amazon uh, Walmart used to carry them but they do not carry front and rears they do carry fronts but it's always good to have the rear one going on, especially if you're out in front and as a lead and a, and a high pole. Uh, you can, uh, you, the truck then is always being monitored. Um, same thing when you're behind him. Uh, everything around him, it's a, it's a 180 degree view, so it gets way at each side of the load. Cars going by on both sides, it's all, it's all on video. Um, but it's a small price to pay. You don't have to have it right off. Uh, some states are starting to require them. Uh, I was told California now requires a, a dash cam of some sort. Um, uh, I know some guys are using the little uh, fake uh, uh, GoPros, the little ones. They run about 30 bucks a camera. They're fine. They work great, but they don't. When that card gets full, you have to put a new card in. It doesn't rewrite over the top of it. So you never know how far you're down. I just put mine in and leave it. And when I hit, when I see something happen, I just hit save. And that's the only part of the thing I save. And the rest of it just keeps getting rewrote, rewrote, rewrote. So, uh, but the, that's 
those are really good to have. I turn my volume off, uh, so it's it, it's not on there. But um, that's just me. Uh, the next item is the Baofeng UV 5R dual band two way radio. It's just a little FM. Uh, radio like what you'd buy at Walmart the little walkie talkies this is a little bit better unit they go further they sound better and you can set up your different channels it looks if you're not used to these kind of radios it looks really ominous because it's got the keypad on it uh, and but they're really good for up to 40 miles so uh, things can happen out on the road where you're around corners and nobody can hear you. You can get on this, they can have one, and you can talk back and forth with no problem at all, uh, much further than a CB radio. Um, a lot of your Canadian trucks uses the FM band of the 2 meter for their radios and their rigs. Uh, they, they're slowly getting away from CB radios because it's so noisy and scratchy out. So they're going to these radios, these type of radios. And that one's a little handheld. It's only about this big. It fits in the palm of your hand. Uh, you can get, it comes with a belt hook, and then you can buy for an extra, I think it was $8, you can get a microphone that plugs into it, and you hook it up here. And it's also the speaker and microphone, so you can just key it up right there. But it's down here, and it's just got the, the, the uh, uh, mic cord coming across your belly. So it's it's a cheap way to go. It's good to have. I carry two of them with me in the in the car just in case. Um, next is a two meter, uh, uh, actually mounted in your vehicle radio. It's the same kind of radio, only for it's a full mounted in your in your rig. Uh, it's a stationary. Um, it will do all the frequencies in the 2 meter band, including the 70 meter band and the, uh, uh, oh shoot, what is it, 70, or 7, seven meter, 2 meter, and the 70. And um, they run about $75, and then you have to get the uh, coax and antenna, the, they run about 40 bucks a piece, or $40 for both. Um, but you're then talking uh if if you got your ham license you're, you you can talk on repeaters and you can talk four five six seven eight hundred miles uh but you can't do that until you've got a uh ham license at least a tech license which is the very beginning of the ham license uh, and, uh the sound is completely different but these radios that are stationary uh as you can see in the picture um are they run about $75 free shipping and uh, but you do still need to get a two meter antenna which is just it's a small it looks like a miniature uh, CB antenna magnetic mount just put it up on top of your roof and you're good to go then um, the next item would be a set of fuses um, these are incredible little boxes uh, there's an assortment of about I think it's a uh, hundred and twenty fuses in this in this kit and it runs ten dollars at Amazon uh, that way because you with your lights your radios uh, everything going at once you're gonna blow fuses uh, I've got everything of mine on its own separate for, uh, uh, line coming and going and everything is fused on its own so uh, but these are always coming in handy the drivers are always blowing fuses out and it's something they usually don't carry around with them as a bunch of fuses this is a small kit it's only about six inches long four inches deep and they're all sectioned out but there's enough there to last you for for quite a while I mean a long time uh, and they like I said they're ten dollars so uh, I, they're, they're not required. I just suggest them to get them. The next item and the final item for this series is hose clamps. Uh, this little kit 
is uh, fantastic. There's 60 pieces in it, and it'll do a hose from about two and a half inches down to a little tiny whatever you need for your high pole or a little tiny airline hose. Um, they run about $10, $12. Uh, sometimes I've seen them at uh, uh, Walmart. Uh, every now and then they'll have these kits. Uh, you can order them online. Uh, uh, go just uh, go into the Walmart website. They run about six eight dollars, but I haven't seen them on there for a while. Uh, Harbor Freight is another place. Um, they run about nine dollars for the kit, and you can go the next kit too. There's another kit that's has the bigger stuff for truck size, um, and I've got one of those in each of my rigs just in case. So, uh, and it runs about nine dollars too for about a forty piece pack. And it will last you for a long time. So uh, that's really about it for right now. Uh, I'll get into more stuff uh, on the next video. Uh, we're gonna st we're starting into the business end of running the business, um, and we'll get into more of that. Leave questions if you have any. Uh, I've been getting some good feedback. People are liking the videos, so uh, I'm gonna continue going. I'm still doing videos for my other. Uh, my other sites as well but uh, um, remember to like and subscribe also uh, check out the website it's free to use free to uh, uh, do whatever there that's why you always update where your location is if you're from Oklahoma City and you're unloading in Los Angeles put down that you're gonna be in the LA area use Hollywood Burbank wherever and let drivers know that you're in that area because that's how they're going to call you. Uh, if you load on Monday, headed for Los Angeles, you're going to be in L.A. on Friday. Put down you're going to be ready to leave Saturday morning out of L.A. And uh, you can edit that every day, twice a day, ten times a day. It doesn't matter. You can edit your position every day. Uh, so... Uh, Anyway, just uh, 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 keep an eye on these things. Uh, the links will all be below in the video. Um, and uh, you go to the website, use it. And like I said here pretty soon, when you log in, the only post, that, uh, the only ad, edit and deletes that you'll be able to do are ones that you put in. Uh, it will go by your user ID name. So, uh, but just log in and then that's the only ones you're, you're going to be, it'll tell you, you cannot touch this one. So, uh, I'm working on that now to get that taken care of. I first got a few that I've got to redo because of these others, uh, that changed their positioning and all that. And I've got to notify them that they're all over the place. So, but anyway, uh, I hope this helps. Y'all have a good day. Drive careful. Be safe. Remember pilotcarmap.com. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.